Hello, Greg Koch here, 605 Running Company, and today I'm talking about the Skechers Go Run Max 4 Road Shoe. Yes, so with Skechers, what we're talking about is hyperburst foam. Uh, that's the, the thing that has taken the industry by storm, if you will. And you know how I feel about super technical uh, foam materials. Every brand has some sort of proprietary foam that is making their shoe better than the next. Um, but Hyperburst is pretty cool, I gotta be honest. And this is a shoe that I picked up uh, about a month ago and I've been running in and I, I've enjoyed the ride. We'll get into that in a minute, but I wanna continue to talk about Hyperburst foam. And basically, I've got a little visual aid here. So this, this, uh, this hard, hard piece through the process of uh, crazy engineering becomes this, this midsole material and that's that's hyperburst foam and um it's 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 really cool science it's it's you know it's chemical engineering at its finest um what it means for us the running community is that we get a really cool midsole material that is um cushioned springy durable and comfortable um and so if if you followed me you know that i've been on the sketcher train for a while this is not my first hyperburst shoe that i've run in this is my shoe uh, size 13 which is why it takes up the whole frame in all of that jazz but so the Max 4 Road, it's a great shoe. Uh, the, the, if, if you have looked up the shoe or heard anything about it, you know, it's got that knit upper, um, all one piece. It's perfect this time of year in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, um, cause it does run a little warm. Um, I call this a sweater for your feet, um, which is all right given the season that we're heading into. Uh, this is a great everyday trainer. You can put lots of miles on it. Long, long miles you can do in this shoe. Um, the fit, it swims around a little bit because of the way that this one piece upper works. So if you don't like that, this might not be the shoe for you. However, um, for me, this is right in my wheelhouse. I like a looser fitting shoe. Um, I've got some pretty particular feet. And so um, I like my shoes to be a little bit on the loose side. And this one has plenty of cushion, um, which where I'm at in training right now, where I'm just base building and putting miles in, regular miles, this is a great shoe for me. I've had a, a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed um, running in this shoe. I've done, uh, <laughs> luckily I got to go out to California. And so I ran um, on the boardwalk along the beach in this sh this shoe. I've run around Sioux Falls in this shoe. It's been, it's been good. It's been fun. Um, it is, I would compare it to like a, a Hoka Clifton or Bondi um, in terms of the cushion and how much cushion you're gonna get out of this shoe. The upper fits, um, you know, uh, previous Skechers shoes with that one piece upper. I'm trying to think of other shoes that have had it. The uh, the Brooks Levitate had an upper that fit really similar to this. So if you enjoyed running in the Brooks Levitate, you know, this shoe is certainly lighter weight than that. Um, and I enjoy this cushion um, profile a lot more than what I did in that shoe. And I put a lot of miles in that shoe. so. Uh, a fun shoe, really unique uh, construction going into that hyperburst material. And I got to tell you, Skechers has got a lot of cool stuff coming out, Skechers Performance. So they are certainly a brand to watch. This hyperburst midsole, it's the real deal. This stuff is really, really comfortable. It is really, really durable. So I also have the hyperburst razors, which um, I will put at the end as a, a video you can go watch for a racing shoe. Uh, I was I, I raced Sioux Falls Half Marathon in that shoe once again, and I did Chili Cheeks 10 mile in that um, and have had great return. Uh, great experiences in that shoe. This would be a great trainer to complement that shoe as a race shoe. So it's a Skechers uh, Go Run Max 4 Road shoe. That's It's a mouthful of a name, but it is a fun shoe to run in and I highly encourage you, you to come on down and, and try this one on, especially if you've had some of those other shoes that I mentioned in the past and you've enjoyed those experiences. This is something that I think definitely complements um, those, those neutral higher cushion trainers. So this has been fun. This is Greg. I will see you all soon down here at the shop. Bye.